As Lagosians prepare for the gradual easing of the lockdown, the state governor, Babajide Samolu, urges individuals and organizations resuming for business to maintain strict hygiene and social distancing. Babajide Samolu also emphasized that churches and mosques still remain closed. Our public officers in the entire unified public service from grade 1 to grade 12 will remain and work from home unless otherwise directed by the accounting officer. For all in grade 13 and above, the accounting officer will carry out a need assessment of critical staff, identify the essential office, and draw up a flexible work roster in compliance with social distancing principle. The head of service will provide further details via a circular between now and Monday 4th of May. None of these directives apply to essential service providers. These are people that are on our front line um, which are the fire service and emergency response service. Mall stores and market in Lagos. All open market and stores will be allowed to open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on selected days. All market stores will be allowed to open from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on selected days. We're working out a schedule uh, with the market association and with the Ministry of Local Government to determine which market will work on which day and which other days you will not work. And that will be out uh, before Monday to see the scheduling of the market. But in days where you are allowed to work, you will not work beyond 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And they are meant to observe precautionary measures of social distancing at very high level and very high level of personal hygiene and hand hygiene. Malls also will be allowed to open, like I said, with a proviso that they will not have more than 60% occupancy at any given time, the maximum, whilst ensuring that a two meter distance is maintained between every person and the next in the store. Hand sanitizers and wash basin must be provided at the entry point and temperature check must be carried out at each and every of these malls. Eateries and restaurants. Eateries and restaurants will also be allowed to open between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. I'm now being joined live in the studio by political technocrat Dr. Dio Coyote. Thank you, Dr. Dio, for staying with us. Yes, my pleasure being the here. The lockdown will be eased next week. Are you worried? I am more than worried. Because, like I said all the time, I see it as an abdication of responsibility. I see it as a display the, a, a, a high degree of insipidness and the lack of creative uh, or critical thinking. How do I mean? If you are telling me that, see, so-so group of people will resume work into government offices and so-so are not going to are not going to resume. Are you placing it on their head that this person is a level word and level word and cannot come to their office? Somebody who is who is hungry at home, who knows that his ogre will be in the office. We want to come to the office and meet his ogre that is hungry. Who is going to arrest such a person? One, two. When it comes to transportation, are they going to walk? Somebody who lives in Agege. Will he walk from Agege to Alausa? Or will he walk from Agege to Ibejuleki? I, I don't know whether you are, you are looking at that. Okay, you are to resume, we are to resume between eight and three. How will somebody living in Songo be able to get to the office at uh, Ibejuleki or VI at around that time? You don't understand. Mm. Three, how about the transportation system? What kind of relationship are you having with this uh, Transport Owners Association? Yeah, the National uh, Union of Road Transport the Workers. NURTW, w, yeah. the Nationals. Yeah. What arrangement are you having with them? Because all those downfall drivers, all those lorries, all those buses, they carry full capacity. If you're now saying social distance, that they should carry maybe about half capacity, it's the same fuel that they will use from 
one point to the other, which they are using the word that they will see use. That means they want to increase transportation. Upon which people are not even having money. Yeah, this what is are where, yeah. Are you making for that? This is where I'm hoping the, the Lagos State Government will come with some measure of palliative when it comes to transportation. When they are supposed to give palliative, did they even give? People need to maintain social distancing, even entering those buses, and not, not so much of that was heard. Now, I'm even concerned now, there's also going to be compulsory wearing of fake masks in public. Do, do you see compl compliance to these by everyone? In fact, when, 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 when I had out of uh, compulsory wearing of uh, face mask, mask yes. I said that mask now had also throw some people into unemployment. If I tell you those people, you know those women that carry all these uh, lipsticks all around the streets, you know they cannot sell out those lipsticks again. So what, where, what will they be doing? That is one. Okay, two, the, the, the face mask that we have to be wearing. What is the standard? Because you now see all these tailors sewing it here and there. What is the standard? I was reading somewhere on one particular platform yesterday. And now that was trying to give one particular standard and another person from that same NAVDAC giving another one a standard. Do you understand? Then when you also look at most of these ones that tailors are sewing, it doesn't have those uh, this in inside of it. That whitish uh, Whatever inside of it. Yeah, the the, the men will be treated mask. That's, do, that's do, why they call face mask. They they do, have some kind of treatment for Do them. you understand? So the one that is being sold by Taylor Sura, or the one that has been sold by Taju D, what concerns him? Is only so make money. And then when you now put on such a mask, what effect does it have? So it's a big deal. Then you're now talking about uh, washing of hands and all that. I have, I know a lot of countries that are distributing hand sanitizers free of charge. Do you get? But go and price hand sanitizers in the market now. The price has skyrocketed. So how do you also expect people to be able to be using those hand sanitizers? There was one place I went to yesterday and I was about to use the hand sanitizer. It's near the tall. Me at the top. Political technocrat, Dio Cowdy, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> my News pleasure, on the hour. my brother. We are now being joined live via Skype by Dr. Lekon Olatise, the Chief Medical Director of Zenith Medical and Kidney Center. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thank you for having me. So far, what's your assessment and observations on the beat to tackle COVID-19 in Nigeria? Let's start with that. Okay, well, um, I think... For what I think this, I think the government got this right. Um, there must be a balance. I think they are just trying to um, balance, uh, have a balance between saving our lives and um, our livelihood. There must be a balance. If you look at other countries all over the world, they are also planning to reopen gradually. Um, I think if they can enforce the use of face marking face mask in uh, public places, um, and we can maintain that social distancing, uh, then I think it's the way to go. But the other thing that they will need to do will be to keep our vulnerable population at home. When I say vulnerable, who are the vulnerable? Those ones with underlying conditions, people who have got kidney disease, um, kidney failure, people with cancer or incapable therapy, with diabetes, hypertension, if we can identify them in the various places where they work, those, those are the people that we really need to keep at home at this time. Then, of course, children. Schools should still remain uh, closed. We, remember, this virus is going to be around for, for a while. How long are, can we afford to shut down? I don't think, I, you understand what I'm saying? It, it's going to be difficult. In the next two, three months, we will still, it's not something that will fade away in one month. So that's how true. long will you continue to shut down? When, when My only they... worry is that uh, because we don't have the resources to test, I mean, the capacity to test just everybody, then it means that we we just been able to test barely um, ten thousand uh, less than fifteen thousand. Yeah. Now know? more so cases. Now difficult. doctor, yes doctor, more cases have been have been discovered on the daily. What do you think we should be doing differently now? Yeah, like I said. Um, because we, 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 we've not been able to test the, the larger population. It's very difficult to say whether we're at our peak. So what, what I think will happen with our reopening is that we, will, we should prepare to see slightly more cases, more 
cases, maybe a slight rise in the, in the rate of, uh, of this infection. Remember, it's a novel virus. We still don't understand it. Uh, but what I think we should be doing now is, like I said, government should try and enforce the use of face masks, face masks in public places. Um, we should also maintain that social distancing, wash our hands regularly, and, um, and still keep our vulnerable population at home. Children, the elderly, those who have um, underlying conditions like hypertension, diabetes, uh, malignancies, cancer or chemotherapy drugs, those with kidney disease should still be kept at home. Because these are the people who will come down with uh, the, um, the, the, I mean, very severe form of the disease. You see complications, but they are the ones that are, who are likely to have uh, the viral pneumonia that may now lead to death. As long as we are not recording, remember, COVID-19 is not a death sentence. As long as, long as we are not recording more deaths in our country, then we are fine. People will recover. People will recover from the illness. So because Doctor, you can't continue to shut down. And yeah. we, we, we shouldn't copy what everyone is doing in the West. Doctor, there's it's not a concern. everything that applies to us. There are concerns, remember though. That, um, there are concerns, Doctor. Quite high, yeah. We have some concerns about now the, the lockdown. The lockdown is going to be eased next week. There are concerns that the yes. virus might might spread largely than it has done now with the easing of the lockdown next week. How do you react to this? Well, I, I, I don't think uh, at an exponential level because one, even the so-called uh, lockdown, we still have market open on certain days. And people still go to these places and um, buy things. They, they, they still have to gather in some one or two places when they're in the market and open places. So for me, I think what we think would, what we need to do is to ensure the use of our face mask. Let Nigerians have. It, it will be difficult to say you want to distribute hand sanitizer to everyone. We don't have such resources, so we just need to manage what we have. So what I think we should be doing right now is. As we reopen, we should make it, uh, we should still keep certain people at home. And these are the ones that I've mentioned, so that we don't have people come down with severe form of the illness and then overwhelm our health system, our health facilities, which is, uh, for me, our health system is quite weak. So we wouldn't want a situation where we see people coming down with a severe form of the illness and then, of course, now overwhelming our health uh, facilities that the few ones that we have. And as long as we don't have complicated cases, people who have this illness are recovered. You know, I mean, mortality rate, 1%, 1, 1%, 1, and of course, the, who, are these, who are the ones that are likely to die from this illness? Earlier on, I mentioned those who are vulnerable, the people with underlying conditions, people who are elderly. Those are the people that really need to sit down at home. But we can't continue to shut down you know, for how long? Because this don't even whether we continue to lock down, we will still record cases to start with. All right. Let's face it, All we right. will record cases. Okay. So, and so if the virus with us for four, five months, are you saying we should lock down? I don't think it makes. I think the government got this right. For once, I think I, I'm very much in support of uh, all starting our lives, getting our lives together again. But we have to now. This will shape in our lives. It will change the way we interact. There shouldn't be, I mean, social gatherings like uh, weddings, um, burials, church, church gatherings, mosque, all of that should yeah, there, be there's banned. No, there's no, lift, there's no lifting of that ban on, on social gatherings with churches and mosques. Yes, oh, yeah, so, yes. So Dr. Lincoln on Lattice, uh, right. uh, thank, we have to let you go now. Thank you very much for joining us and for your contribution on News on the Hour. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.